So, today we have a continuation of last time's exercise, which is the method uh, that we use the unit by dividing, adding, and multiplying a certain unit, okay? Uh, last time we explained that this starting unit can be a lot of things, can be a lot of shapes. It can be a square, a rectangle. Uh, it depends on what you want to start with, what you need in the drawing. Last time we did the more accurate version of the method where we had uh, on the first line, we put measurements and carefully we divided uh, to, to end up with a, a careful perspective uh, method using the division of the, of the unit. So, today uh, I said that we will use a more freehand method. So this method is great because you can use it uh, very, in very quick sketches freehand, without measurements, without any measurements, okay? Just to get the proportions right, the proportions of an object. It's like if I have a, something in my mind I want to draw, uh, there is certain proportions. I don't know the measurements, but I know the proportions in general. Like, uh, for example, the, length, the table has a certain length, width, and height. Now, I imagine this in my head. I want it to be longer than it is wider the height compared to the other measurements. So I don't know the measurements, but the proportions are clear in my mind. So I want to draw something like that. This method is very useful in this case. I can quickly draw the sketch, see if it's good or not good. If it's good, we will take it to the next stage, draw it more accurately, and so on. So again, this method can be used for very fast drawing, as in these examples. You can see they are done uh, fast, the lines are not clean. Uh, but there is division of the cube so that I get the proportion right. Division of the unit, it doesn't have to be a cube, you know. So, uh, in this way, this method is very useful for uh, two different things. Now, look at these examples to see what it can be used for. For example, when we have a certain uh, unit, like in this wheel, I can use it as a unit, but as a as a rectangle, okay? So look, this is not a square, this is not a cube, it's a rectangular object. This is my starting unit, okay? So, uh, in a car, for example, just so you get the idea, we have a wheel, and in between this distance, there's three wheels. Now, this, if you draw it just freehand without dividing the, you know, the unit, it's very hard to know exactly this distance, how much should I leave, uh, and then we have another wheel here, which is the same size like this, but in perspective. So it's a little more hard to draw it correct. But using this method, uh, very quickly you divide the unit, and you know, okay, one, two, three, okay, here is my other wheel. And you already, uh, the sketch will look much better. Also from this side, uh, this here, I subdivide it so that I know, for example, the, the width of this car, how should I put it, okay? How much should it be? So we don't know, there is no measurements here. We don't know how much is this, how much is this, we don't know. But when you look at the proportions, they have to look okay. In, in a sketch, even in a fast sketch, they have to look okay, okay? Uh, so here is another example. In, in this case, I have this object here. Look, it looks very different than this. In this case, I need to start with this unit. And I subdivided it, uh, each of the sides. Here, I left two spaces, okay, like this is the top view, the same like this, two spaces, okay, and then we have another one. So it's very easy to, to plan the sketch very fast by starting with a unit, dividing it, and finding the locations of other units that are the same size in reality. Uh, so, now if you want to put a little more accuracy into these drawings, you can have the first edge here, you can put a few measurements here, and also know the heights of uh, certain things. But this is if you need additional accuracy. If you just draw a very fast sketch, you don't need any measurements, and the sketch will look okay. Now, uh, any object that has the distance between something, like this table have this leg, and this leg, and that one, four legs. So if I want to draw it from, from this edge, and I want to know that leg, how, how it will look in perspective, and what is the space in between. We have something like this situation. So I will start with the, 
you know, a cube from here or a rectangle or a square, and I will start dividing it until I reach that unit. So I know for sure how much uh, I want to and where I want to put it. So, uh, also, uh, this method, division of the uh, unit method, can be used for two-point perspective and one-point perspective. Like, this is done in two-point perspective because we start with edge and we go to the vanishing points, okay? But you can use it in one-point perspective as well. So this is when it goes to a vanishing point and from this side it goes to a vanishing point. Here we start with one vanishing point, okay? And all these objects go towards this vanishing point and I can start, for example, anywhere here with a unit, okay, like this is my square unit, and I, again I will put a midline through, this line go here, so the next unit of this size in this perspective is here, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. So you can use it in one point perspective as well, this division of the unit method. So for example, if I have, if I want to draw a lot of tables, like I stand here and I want to draw this row of tables. Okay, we will have table, 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 table. It goes towards one vanishing point. So uh, I can easily draw that using this method. Or for example, uh, I want to know the tiles on the floor. You see these tiles? When we go towards that vanishing point, they will become smaller and smaller and smaller. So I can use one tile, which is a square, and subdivide it quickly. And Imagine if we take these lines out, they will become like a, a room full of floor tiles. So uh, it, it can be helpful in a lot of situations, the division of the unit uh, method. However, the one point perspective, now we will not use it, okay? We will not use it. So everybody should draw in starting with an edge in two point perspective because I will not, uh, I will not draw an example for this. This is just so you know that this method, method can be used for two-point and one-point perspective. If you want, you can try at home. But uh, I want you to do your homework with two-point perspective, okay, for now. Oh, now, uh, two-point perspective means we have a horizon line and we have two vanishing points. This is how we start. Now, I will uh, draw a very specific object, okay? Um, <clears throat> more simple than this, more simple, because here we have a lot of curves, a lot of circles, all of these things, and uh, I didn't teach you yet how to draw this, okay? Like, for example, how to draw a circle in perspective. It's very easy, but this is for next class, okay? Next uh, classes. So now I will draw a specific object that uses straight lines, and uh, of, of, of a specific shape, okay? So that all the classes have the same example. I will draw it carefully. Now, this is fast. As you can see, a lot of lines, very quickly drawn. I will draw this carefully so that you can follow me, okay? So that you can understand the method. This is the point. But later, when you become more experienced, you don't have to use, uh, for this specifically, you don't have to use rulers, or to be very slow, you can draw very fast with it. For now, slow, so that we understand everything, okay? Now, let us start. So, we will draw in two-point perspective. That means we start with an edge. We will start with the first edge. Uh, <clears throat> I will not put any measurements this time. It is just the proportion, okay? So my first unit, which will be a, a cube, we will use a cube, okay? So we will have a square face from here, a square face from here. Just to make things a little more easy for now. So now the size, if I start with a, like a big cube, my all the object that I will draw will be bigger, okay? If I start with a small, cube and subdivide it, the object will be smaller. Now, if you choose a specific size and you start uh, drawing and then you see, oh, it's getting too big, I don't have a space or, you know, uh, any problem, delete and start with a smaller cube. 
So this, we don't know how much it is. It could be two centimeter, could be three, could be four, I don't know. Could be half centimeter. So that's up to you and the object that you will draw. Because each one of you will draw different objects. So we ca I cannot give you a measurement and we need to draw also without measurements this time. Okay, so I will start here with my first edge. Uh, okay, this is good enough. Maybe as a size, let's try it. So let's try it to the vanishing point. And to the other vanishing point. Now, I choose the one from here to here, this size. Now, I need to take this also to the vanishing point. This is too loud. Okay, we need to close it. Okay, so now, where is this uh, first edge located? It's a little bit closer to that point, so this side should be a little bit shorter than this side. I am estimating, okay? But it needs to look like a cube for our uh, exercise. Oh. Now, I need to divide. This unit and this unit, okay? We need to subdivide them. How? The half point. The half point, okay? We take it to the vanishing point. Then, the next unit of this size will be where? From here through here, a line will be located here. The next. Now I am, this first unit will be part of a leg, okay, of a sofa. We are drawing a sofa. So I need, in between the first unit, I need how many spaces here? Eight. Eight spaces, okay? So. do we have now? Let's check. So the first unit is what we want here. Then we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need one more unit. So this one in the end, we also want it, okay? Now, from this side, I will do the same. Okay, from here through here, a line. The next unit will be here. Now, from this side, I have three, three space units, okay, uh, before we reach the, the one that I want. So, three spaces. unit, I want it as well at the end. Okay? I'm just putting uh, these lines through so you can visually see where they are located. Okay. 
Now, okay, now we will take these objects up. Okay, I will take them up because this is the start of the lake. I just use it to subdivide, but in reality, it's tall. Okay, so we will take them up. Now, how much up it will go? If it's a very fast drawing, I can just estimate. I can stop here, see how it works. Or I can use this unit as a guideline. So for example, one unit, two, three, how much did I put here? Four units, okay. One, two, and so this is here number two, then number three, number four. These are not measurements. These are just the unit I start with, I just quickly you know, estimate where they're located. So visually, I can understand the height. So this is four units. I take to the vanishing point. And to the vanishing point from this side. Okay. So this I want to be uh, the end of the lake, okay, or the, the resting for the arm. So from here to the vanishing point, from here to the vanishing point. So this is the upper surface of this lake, okay? Now, here, all this line is just a construction line. This will be empty space. So, so from here, so this is all empty, but we don't delete it. We need this, okay? But this is empty, this is underneath, okay? So, from here to the vanishing point, to close this, from here we already have it. Okay, now we have what here on our object? There is some uh, soft material where you sit on, and I put it to be two units. Uh, sorry, one unit, one unit. So, one unit from here to the vanishing point. Now before, before I, I draw, continue this one, let me also make this object tall like this because they are both on the same height. So let me finish with that first, then we will continue. So we have already these two lines. If this one is on the same height, that means if I put it up, where it reach this line, where it will reach this line, this is the end. Now to the other vanishing point. So, this is here the upper surface, okay? And this is here the other upper surface of the other object of the same size. From this corner, we will put down the line. Now, how much we will need? We don't know. It will uh, later. This one has to reach the end. From here to the vanishing point, okay. to the vanishing point. This is an example, students. You will see the object when it finishes, okay? But this is how you start drawing, okay? Of course, uh, when you get experience, you will draw much more faster. I'm drawing very slow for you to follow, okay? So we are drawing two legs, basically two objects, rectangular, with a certain height, okay? Now, we have a third one here. We have one, two, three, four at the back, okay? So this one, we also need to put it up. This one up. This one up, where it will touch this line, here and here. So we will take to the other vanishing point. So, where is the surfaces of this object? The upper surface, here. And that one is there. 
So, one, two, three, four. Now, look at that object. I didn't even draw it. Along the lines intersected and it showed me where it is. That's why uh, last time I told you, very important. You start at the bottom, you divide, then you draw what's in the first edge. From here you take to the vanishing points. The objects that are at the back, sometimes uh, the lines themselves will tell you where they are looking at. So you never draw an object at the back before you finish at the front. Okay, this is a rule. So that you draw correct. Now uh, we will put this down here. For this object also we have the edges. Now how much we need later we will see. This one here also. I have an edge down. Now, this part here, which will be the soft part for sitting, which starts at this point, from here also to the other vanishing point. Now, if this is a closed area, if this is a closed area, we will just have this, but we will not see any part of this. So. So we will delete these lines, these lines, just to reduce the number of lines on the paper. So this we don't need it here. Okay. Now, then from this point where it will touch here, we will take to the vanishing point. This will be invisible here, hidden. Take to the vanishing point. done your drawing uh, reasonably correct, they should meet at the edge, okay, at this point, they should meet. This is the seating material here, this is here, the, basically uh, all of these are on the same height for now, okay, for now. So this here we will not see. Uh, now we will, this one be connected already, this is connected and this is connected. Okay, this one here, until this point, Okay, this one we will not see because it will be hidden. Okay, we have another issue here. We need to put these two, now they are all on the same height. We need to put them higher because we need to draw the backrest. So, I will go and increase the height from here. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Now, because this is a sketch, at any moment you can change your mind. Like for example, okay, I don't like this height, I want to make it shorter, I want to make it taller. Okay? This is a sketch, that means a drawing in development. So at any moment, if I don't like something, I can delete and do something else, okay? So I will choose, for example, the height from this. We don't have measurements, but uh, from the first stage, I could choose, for example, two units. This is one unit, one, one another unit, uh, another unit here, okay. Let's take it to the varnishing point, where it will intersect this and this. Take to the other vanishing point. From here, we also have this up, and this up, and this up. So, now, let me use another pen that can be seen better. Okay. So, this one we put up, this one up, this one up. Here we have this line, and this line that goes and connect to this and this also. Now, from this point to the vanishing point, from this point to the vanishing point, and to the vanishing point. Now, this line here also will touch this and this here, and this and this here. So, okay. So, you look at it. If 
you don't like this too short, too long, you increase the height, you decrease. That's how it's sketch, a sketch means, okay? Now, we have something else here to do. Um, okay. Here, these are connected in my drawing, okay? These two are connected, and these two connected. So all of this is a closed surface. Close. And then these go up okay, from the back. And uh, we have these are four units. This okay, we need now. This is a sofa, okay? I need to divide in half. This is like one seat, two seats. Now, if I draw very fast, I can just estimate, estimate where it is. But to be more a little bit accurate, we can use this line. Look, these are eight spaces, eight, okay? So, one, two, three, four, this line is exactly in the middle. I put it up, it touch this here, I go to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, then I put this up. So, now my seat is divided, and uh, I know that it's more accurate since I use the division of the uh, unit method. So, from here, I took it up, it's exactly in the middle, you see? Okay. I took it up, I took to the vanishing point, up, and again to the vanishing point. Okay. Now, there are a lot of lines because some of the lines are from the back. Okay, like this, for example, we will not see. This we will see here. This we will not see. Uh, this here we will not see. So these here are all like hidden, hidden objects. You will not see them. What you will see is only the front part. These, these, the visible ones. Okay. Here, this one also. This one here. Now, this is here empty, empty space. It's just our construction lines, division lines. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is basically like a sofa, a sofa. Simple, very simple. It has all straight lines, edges. No curves, look at these, they're full of curves and uh, more realistic. This one looks a little bit uh, too edgy. Now look, anything you draw, anything, even these objects, before they become curvy and uh, all of this stuff, they were straight, straight boxes, okay? You always start like this, any drawing, no matter how much curves, radiuses, whatever you have, because otherwise you will make mistakes with the details. So first you make sure the proportions are correct. This is what you want as a proportion. After that, after that what you decide where you put, want to put certain radiuses and edges. Now, this is not a required of you right now. But if you already know, put, but it has to be in a correct way. So for example, this, do you see this edge here? I don't want it to be an edge, I want it to be uh, with, a, with a certain radius. How can I do that? Well, I need to decide uh, how much the radius is. Small radius, large radius. For example, this is one unit. Let me, in my sketch, do it half unit. Okay, half. So this is half of this, and this half. So, this is here from the back. This is to the vanishing point and the vanishing point. Okay, and this here will be the same. So this line, will be here, and this go to the vanishing point, this to the other vanishing point, this is here the back, because we need them, okay? So, now if I want to draw a radius, I can take from this to this edge, and from this edge to this edge. Now, here the same, from this to this, from this to this.
Now we have radius, okay? Simple radius. Again, what if I don't want this to be a, an edge? Because this is supposed to be a soft material. Never soft materials have edge, okay? Like, uh, you know, so it needs to have a curve here in this place. So how, how shall we do that? Well, very simply, uh, we decide again uh, how much it should be. Like this is the starting edge. Uh, what is this? What is this? Now, because we are not using measurements, you just estimate. If you want a, a larger, a larger uh, curve, the, the the points will be further apart. If you want it smaller, they will be closer to each other. Then I will draw two lines, okay, that go where to the vanishing point. Everything, don't forget, you need to take to the vanishing points, okay. Now, what happened with this? I will delete that middle line. And I will connect, do you see this point and this point, this point and this point, and here the, the one that is hidden. So we will connect them now and make them a radius. And here will be. So the radius will be, uh, if you take it from here also, it will be like this, from here it will be like this. Okay, so it will be a radius. We have a starting point and a finishing point. You don't need to put all of these. You just need one in the middle and one at the end. Just, but this is for you visually to understand. Okay? So we have now a radius. So this is not a one line, but a radius. Okay? Great. And so on. For example, here, I also don't like this to be an edge. I want this to be different this time. Not equal radius, but from here to here. I want it to be like this, okay? Also possible. So let's do that from here to here, from here to here, huh? from here to here, from here to here. How will that look? And this one here will be hidden at the back, so we will see only this part. So what I mean is, these things you add later, okay? So, you start with what? Straight, everything. Then where you have a curve, where you have a, a radius, what is the proportion-wise of this radius you want to put? This is a sketch, okay? So at any moment, you can change your mind and say, for example, no, I don't want it this size. I want this to come from here to here, or I want it smaller. So uh, this is how sketching works. You, you do something, you look at it, you like it, does it look good? If it's okay, you move on. If not, you delete, draw, draw another sketch. So. This one also not to forget it here. So basically, this is one example of uh, using the division of a unit and to draw an entire object with it. Now, look, this unit I started off with as a, um, as a cube, from here uh, square and from here square. But it doesn't have to be. You can, for example, make it long from here to here and divide the whole thing. But no need. You can just start with something small, divide it, find the spaces, where are these lines, and then you can take them up more, more better than to have a very long object and dividing it, okay? But it can work, it can work. Either way it works.
so that you can see better. So I, if, I, if I look at it and say, I don't like it. Let's put something here on top. Let's make it taller. Let's remove this. So this is how sketching develops, okay? Until you end up with a design you like. After you end up with a design you like, then you can decide, okay, now we need to decide really the measurements. We know the proportions are okay, but what are exactly the measurements? This is for the next step. And then you usually, in that step, you take the design, you draw the orthographic, the isometric, and maybe a perspective with uh, some more details and more accuracy. And that's basically it. So for now, this is supposed to be a sketch. So we don't use any measurements. In your drawing, <coughs> you, uh, of course, you should draw with ruler because you are still uh, in the beginning stages. So if you draw freehand and you have all these lines, they are beautiful, but, but you might get confused, okay? So use, use the ruler, put every point to the vanishing point accurately so that you know your drawing accurately uh, for now. Of course, you can experiment at home with fast drawing if you want. Uh, like this, um, but if you're not experienced, as I said, you draw carefully, like I did. Start with straight, you uh, choose objects that are uh, straight, like this table, you look, it has a lot of edges, corners, it's very straight, it doesn't have a lot of curves, uh, that table works, some chairs work, this object look also it's straight everywhere, you know? So. Choose objects that are uh, simple from your home, one object, and you will need to draw it on one A3 paper. I need to see everything. I need to see the division of the cube, don't delete, construction lines. In, in case you want to put uh, a radius somewhere, I need to see the, the actual straight cube or rectangle, okay? Don't delete anything. Just light, light in color. L sorry, light lines, not very heavy. The object lines, strengthen them. Now, look, you can put more and more details on this object as you go along. Like for example, I look at this now and I say, hmm, okay, where, uh, for example, I need the middle of this or the middle of this. Or I need, for example, to put somewhere here in between uh, it's not one line, it's, for example, a, a wider space. So I can go back to my first line. Do you see these here lines and these spaces? How do, we sub, how do we find the middle, for example? Okay, diagonal, okay, this is the middle. Diagonal, this is the middle. Okay, but I don't want the middle. I want the quarter. Again, we can subdivide. This and this, we can subdivide, find this point. Subdivide, find this point. Then from here, I can put it up put it up and find, okay, it's located here, here, take to the vanishing point, take to the vanishing point, and for example, I have this stuff space, so it's, it's details, you can put something here, it can be a different color, it can be, I don't know, you know, what can be done with this? But you can take details from here. You can, for example, have, okay, uh, this is all one sheet, but I have a certain differences in this detail. The midpoint here up, so this is here, for example, something else happening in this area. Then from here, I have the same object, midpoint up. Here is this object, the same object from here going to the vanishing point. So from this line is where you find smaller and smaller and smaller spaces. Huh? So if you subdivide, I know the middle. If I subdivide, I know the middle of this. If I subdivide, I know the middle of this. So you can from here take small spaces. Sometimes you have details in the object. From here up, from here to the vanishing point, and draw. Uh, this is here, one, two, three, four. From number three, I can, for example, take, go here, from here up, I know that this is the middle, or from here, I can, I can put diagonals, and know where is my midpoint. Here, for example, I could have other details inside, okay? But 
Never put just uh, free hand everywhere things. Everything must be from somewhere taken and placed there. Uh, just to have a level of accuracy in your sketch. But of course this can be drawn very fast or very slow with a ruler. Okay? So this is your homework. Not this. Another object from your home. Okay? Everybody will have different drawing. Even, even if some of you will decide to draw, for example, this table. It's uh, okay. Another student also draw this table. Still the drawings will be different. Because Focus here, please. So even if more than one student choose the same object, it will still look different here. Why? Because where you start the first edge, like a student start from here, dividing, another student start from here, another student start from here, another student above the horizon line, okay? Or make the object look... Uh, so, Every student will have a different placement of the drawing. If I see two students with the same, I know it's copied, okay? And zero for all the students that uh, help someone to copy or copy, okay? Every drawing must be looking different. Every drawing must have the construction line, so I see how you construct it, okay? Very important, don't make this mistake. Any questions? Everybody know what to do at home? Okay. Mm -hmm.